24 hours after it was deemed unfit for infants, the regional governor declared Tokyo's tap water delicious and safe for all. Let's all calm down, he said. Nevertheless, shoppers emptied store shelves, even waited in line for water, with some stores limiting what people can buy. The city began distributing 12 bottles of water each to the families of the 80,000 infants one year and under in Tokyo. Megumi Hitotsi got water for baby Aoi. The level is down again. Does that give you trust? There's no way to get independent information other than from the government, so I still worry the tap water is contaminated, she says. Following days of rain, the city's tap water was found to have unhealthy levels of radioactive iodine, which raises an infant's risk of thyroid cancer. Water workers say the radioactivity now is diluted to safe levels. Picking up grandchildren from daycare, Kenzo Joe isn't buying it. Yesterday, the water is bad, but this morning the water is okay? It's very difficult to believe what they say, and I'm confused. 140 miles away, the source of the problem continues to confound efforts to bring it under control. Today, smoke rose again from reactors 2, 3, and 4, and for the first time from Unit 1. Engineers don't know why. Now, new fears the seawater used to cool reactors may have encrusted them in salt that could be holding heat in, making the situation worse. Today, two workers were rushed to the hospital with radioactive burns after their feet came in contact with water at the plant. Well, radiation levels in the sea near Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant have spiked to more than a thousand times the norm. It's been over two weeks now since the devastating earthquake and tsunami which caused the accident at the facility. The official death toll from the disaster stands at over 10,000 people, with many more missing or homeless. Emergency teams are still struggling to control the situation at the stricken Fukushima nuclear plant. Several workers sustained radiation burns while installing cables as part of efforts to restore the critical cooling systems. Nuclear energy experts say the damage to the site is having a dangerous effect on the environment and on people's health. I think it's catastrophic. I think that the narrative that we've had for the last week or so, which is that we're trying to fix the problem or get it under control is misleading. I think that there's evidence of radiation having entered the environment in large amounts. It's turning up in lots of places, in water and food. Uh, it's even being detected uh, far away. What this could mean is that there is really a significant entry of radiation going on into the environment right now, and that there doesn't appear to be any, any, any halt to it in the near future. So that's very catastrophic. This is not something that is a situation that may get out of control. This is a situation that is having a catastrophic impact currently already. I would say it's significantly dangerous. There's been high levels of radiation detected out at the 20 kilometer limit already. Um, and what you have it, when you have radiation levels of that of that level is that in a week or two you'll have people that are experiencing the radiation exposure of nuclear plant workers, uh, you know, over the course of their career. And these are people in a situation where there's been an earthquake, there's been a tsunami, there's a shortage of food, there's a shortage of water. So their health is already stressed. Their bodies are already stressed. They may not be uh, in heated homes at night. They may not be getting electricity. So the impact of these exposures will be even larger. Um, so the, to receive in the course of a week or two, the exposures that nuclear plant workers receive in their entire lives is rather dire, and these people should not be allowed to remain in such an exposure area. New radiation alert in Japan. Radioactivity in one of Japan's Fukushima plants is 10 million times the normal level. Now, fresh radiation fears have emerged in Reactor 2 of the Fukushima nuclear plant. In fact, anger is increasing and people are now even asking why Japan cannot do without nuclear energy. 
あの原発を創業してたっていうことに怒りを感じて、で直ちに、あのーまあ、やっぱりあの原発ってのはもともと、僕はナチス好きだと思ってるし。They have consistently published, and we can verify that they have sufficient information. I'm going to be sending you links to tons of stuff, so you'll have a little easier way of you know going about it. That can verify that they've been warning about very specific things. Now I'll tell you this: there is a warning, a specific warning on two events that they will not give the dates for because again, this is not handholding. It's like here's the information. And here is the information. There will be a 9.0 earthquake off the coast of Portland, Oregon, at some point, and they won't say when. That will run at 9.0 for five straight minutes. All right, well, five minutes of 9.0. That's going to wipe out an awful lot. Well, you're on it. It's a sea quake, but nonetheless, that's very powerful. It will generate a tsunami, tsunami. Yeah. that is going to slam that part of the west coast. It will then produce another earthquake and tsunami. It will be devastating to that area and to people in that area. They have said, and now this was told to Meyer several years ago, about two years prior, documented, verifiable, prior to our scientists now coming up with the same conclusion. They have also. Also said, the、uh, I think it's called El Cumbre volcano in the Canary Islands、mm-hmm. is going to it, it is going to erupt for sure unless、uh, there is a way we could prevent some of the damage. But it will erupt, and when it does, one trillion tons of mass are going to go into the sea suddenly, generating a, a, a tidal wave tsunami. Not only that will rush up the coasts of Spain, Portugal, and France, but which will cream the entire eastern seaboard of the United. United States and penetrate up to 12 kilometers inland and potentially take out 20 million human lives. They will not tell us when. They will simply tell us that this event will happen. All right, now let's take that specific example then of the volcano on the Canary Islands.、Uh, I don't understand why they wouldn't want to tell us when, because having this information in inverted commas, what the hell are we going to do with it? We can't stop a volcano erupting, can we? Right. What we can do, and what they said we should do with it, especially here, is that the, it, they said it is the responsibility of your government and your scientists to prepare routes for evacuation and means、okay. of、uh, getting people out. Because when that goes, when the sign that that's going, that will give seven to eight hours or so of time. I guess it is before that wave would cross the Atlantic. So if we have a warning, folks. It's now time for Plan B. Here we go. All right, well, let's, we, we've, our time is is just about out, and I, I I could do another hour with you really really easily. Probably another three hours with you really easily, Michael. I've enjoyed this, but huh, Billy Meyer gets told this information.、Uh, shouldn't the powers that be, the beings who told him this, this is really seismic stuff? Quite literally, 20 million、yes. people you're talking about perishing at some date we don't know. Why didn't they go to the United Nations with this? You know, they cut out the middleman, deal direct. That's the bit I don't understand. You don't have very long to answer this question, and I'm sorry for that. I'll give you the answer this way. In 1979, the play are an authorized contact with the Carter administration of the United States. A letter was drafted by Billy Meyer, given to the lead investigators, and presented to people in the Carter administration. The offer was turned down. Well, that's no big surprise. A letter. That's no good, as if they need to appear to Jimmy Carter himself. You have to know that the CIA has been monitoring from day one, and the part of the story that hopefully we can do another. How do you know that, by the way? 
because the lead investigator retired Lieutenant Colonel Wendell Stevens, U.S. Air Force, and Lee and Britt Elders, who were the skeptic owners of Intercept, a high-level uh, electro counter-espionage uh, company, who went with Wendell Stevens to Switzerland to start the investigation of the Meyer case in 78 to prevent him from being taken in by a hoax. And all three of them ultimately came away, not only knowing that this was no hoax, but having to account to the CIA each trip in and out of London on their way to Zurich. And we have this uh, in public recorded, you know, presentation from Wendell Stevens and everything. You just pulled a thread on a sweater here, my friend. In Los Angeles, that was Billy Myers' representative, Michael Horn. Now, I don't expect you to buy into any of that. I don't know what to make of it. It is either, as I said, the biggest hoax there has ever been or something truly amazing. And I really don't know which. And it's not my business to make that judgment right now. It's your business to judge about it. An idea has suggested itself to me in the last couple of minutes, just as I'm saying these words, really. How about, because this is so damn controversial, if you have questions for that man, if there are things that I didn't say to him, you think I should have said to him, why don't you email me with your questions for that man and at some point in the future, I'll get Michael Horn back on and we can ask him the hard questions. He's told me off air that he is willing to defend this work and he can answer any question. Well, let's give him that opportunity. Let's ask him the hard questions. It is something that is either so far-fetched it is ridiculous or it is something that all our governments need to be paying attention to and maybe they are on some level. And I'm just a journalist. I'm just an honest broker in all of this. I don't know the answer to that question.